Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Underrail. In the last episode, we defeated the group of Ironheads that had given us so much trouble trying to get that one uh, cell phone from them, which we no longer even need. But we won. That was really close. We then also destroyed the Black Crawler and its guardians up above of Death Stalkers and Normal Crawlers. Ugh. There was another pretty tough battle. Oh, the battle we did against the group of lurkers who were guarding one tra trans traversal area between east, uh, west and east underrail in the passages up above. Lots of traps. Almost didn't make that one either. It was, it was pretty epic fights. And to my recollection, we did not die in any of them. Now, I've sampled a bit of my last video, and I am really happy with the quality of my sound compared my voice compared to the in-game sound especially because two videos ago it was pretty pretty bad actually my voice was on the quieter side so I don't think you guys are going to mind the new voice quality and in fact I'm so confident that I'm recording this part in advance I kind of have to uh, anyway because it's work is getting busy and I've been sick the past few days so, it's been tough for me to record games. So, I can record it now. I'm feeling better. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and record a few more episodes of Underreal while you get a chance to do so. Today is February 18th, 2020. So you guys are aware of when I'm recording this part. And I mentioned that we would go ahead and do the dude's quest in this part. And so that is what I intend to do. So before we get off and start the dude's quest, we're going to make a particular backup save because this could prove to be too much for us but I I think we can do it we're, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot now oh, oh what else have I what else have I done so you guys are aware so I I don't did I craft a new sledgehammer I might have I don't remember if I crafted this on screen or not but this is our current Tychrome sledgehammer 49 through 70 points of damage with 11% chance to crit. Level 23. I think I crafted it in the last episode. I have been watching Foundry, and it hasn't popped up any fantastic Tychrome bars since I crafted this. I have gone to Foundry, and I've killed the rock creatures uh, again. I didn't really want to kill the rock creatures. It's the boars I want, because I want their gizzard enzymes. I... Uh, Comrade Lennon told me where to go and pick up the Aegis plant, because I don't remember where that's located. But I haven't picked it up because I forgot. <laughs> but I do have, like, 23 gizzard enzymes or something like that, ready to make Aegis. Aegis is a drug that will reduce all damage we take by 15% when taken. And I think we'll quickly stop by the doctor, make sure I'm content with the amount of supplies I'm bringing with me. I can already tell I'm not. I can already tell I should go back to Core City. You know what? We'll do the dude's quest in the next episode. We're gonna do some running around in this episode instead. Because I don't wanna wanna I don't really wanna buy what I know I can make. I'm just being I'm just being lazy. So let's let's do some more exploring this episode instead of starting the dude's quest. And maybe in the next episode we'll start the dude's quest. Darn it. Alright, well let's get started then. So let's go ahead and have ourselves. A burrower burger for extra constitution. And we're going back to Core City so I can make myself some more drugs. And what we'll do is we'll visit the various doctors and make sure that we have gotten everything we need from them. And then we'll explore more caves in this episode. So let's go to Core City first. I want to make some more adrenaline hypos and morphine hypos because why would we want to spend our hard-earned money purchasing it granted we are up to 19,108 sticking coins which is very nice and we have one set of super steel quality 157 plates waiting for us for armor creation later on that note I probably will want to think about purchasing more super steel plates soon We'll probably want at least two more pairs. One for better boots, one for a better quality helmet. I know the helmet we, we are currently wearing was made of Super Steel, 
So we are wearing $3,000 worth of equipment on our head. But we'll want a better one, because that was only quality 100-something. I... I do think it will be very difficult for me to give up a Tychrome Hammer. Which is weird, because normally I would expect Super Steel to be the best metal for everything, given its high cost. But that's not the case at all. I really, really love the reduced action point cost on the Sledgehammer attacks. Why am I here? Oh, I'm here because, first, we should visit the doctor. Hello, Heidi. So you are not selling anything I'm interested in. Oh, by the way, everyone, when it comes to Alphabet, I bought all, all of his equipment, all of it, just to see if he would actually change his tune and say something new in the dialogue. It occurred to me that I've never tried to clear out his inventory, but he doesn't say anything different, and he never, ever replenishes his inventory ever from what I've seen. Or if he does, it takes longer for him to do so than the other merchants. He also still walks extremely slow, despite not having anything in his inventory. I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought maybe there'd be like a secret quest we would have completed by uh, by buying everything from him. And how many... Tw yep, 23 gizzard enzymes. Alright, so, let's go ahead and see what I can make. Oops, I don't need that one. Actually, I don't need any of this. Why, why'd I take... Oh, I do want the amples. I do want that. Okay. So, uh, what do I want to make? Jumping beans. I'm down to five of them. I need insectoid saliva and organic compound. I have plenty of electric, uh, of the compound. And I think I have, yep, a huge amount of insectoid saliva. Let's go ahead and make some jumping beans. We get three of them for each one of these. We have five... Let's go up to 20. Next. What else can I, can I make agents? I don't think I can yet. No, I can't. All right. So I want to make adrenaline shots. Let's first put the insectoid saliva back. And that's just adrenaline. Oh, I'm beginning to run a little low on that. Only th uh, granted, it's 38, but still, we'll go through that very quickly. So, we need adrenaline. This. I've only got two. You know, I should probably actually just buy the Adrenaline Shots. Because they're not that expensive. And Adrenaline is used... Raw Adrenaline is used in other things as well. It'd be like making advanced health hypos. I probably should not do that. Now, Morphine, though. Morphine's kind of expensive to purchase. So I want these back. How much Morphine do I have? 22. All of it. Focus stims. I think those require adrenaline. Taurine, raw adrenaline, blood, and a syringe. Yeah, we're running dangerously low on adrenaline. Okay. Quality 157. And we have quality 139's uh, tichrome bars as well, waiting for construction to something. Alright, so I need blood. I have plenty of blood. And taurine. I don't think I have much of that left. I do not. So we need more creature bits. You know, I really enjoy being able to make these drugs. I shouldn't... I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> That's something I didn't think I'd say. But I really do like it. Having only found a few, like, they're not common drops from what I can tell. Uh, having only, so thus only having found a few in the game whenever I've played it previously, I've held on to those for emergency situations. It is so nice not to have to worry about that. Oh, gizzard enzymes are used for iron gut as well, huh? Okay, let's make some iron gut while we're here. So, we need some more taurine. And we need gizzard enzymes to take five of these. And it looks like this as well, we earn three of them. 
for crafting. Nice, Iron Gut reduces all biological damage taken by 75% for 8 turns. So this is biological damage and poisons. We should get that on our hotbar. Okay. Before we go exploring, let's do one final thing here with the good doctor. I'm gonna take a bunch of miscellaneous drugs. And we'll buy more adrenaline. Arguably, I probably should not even be making morphine either. Because we can buy it. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I shouldn't have done what I just did, but it's too late now. My thought being that because we have mercantile, I have significantly more money at this point in the game than I'm used to having. Most of my characters don't bother with mercantile, because I you can get by without it. It's difficult, but as long as you have access to the merchants that you need, like you join the correct Ogliarch, usually that's Core City, I uh, sorry, uh, Core Tech. But you can still get high quality pieces of equipment from any of the merchants, it's just... Well, actually, that's not true. From s certain merchants will sell you higher quality equipment as you progress the main story through. But Mercantile makes it much easier to do that, and Mercantile gives you more money. Because things you sell are worth more money to merchants, and things you buy, you buy for less. Let's go to the docks. And I think we'll try going to Fixer next. Looking to buy that Aegis recipe. So I want Junkyard, 25 coins. While we're here, we I don't I don't think we forgot to explore anything in this section of the caves. I think all this has been explored. Let's check. Yes, it has. I still need to figure out where I can get a shrimp from. We might have to wait on shrimp until we reach the Black Sea. Technically, we can't complete the quest anyway until we... Oh, wait. We're, 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 I got, uh, sorry, I was confused. Oh, there's, a, there's something else I want to show you guys, too. So, uh, technically, we can't complete the quest for the fishing until we get the ghost face. And that's not something we're going to find until we get to the Black Sea or Deep Caverns. And I don't intend to bring my fishing rod with me to the Deep Caverns, because we need every single pound we can free up in order to carry supplies with us down there. Hello, Caltrops. We can march right over you. So, speaking of Caltrops, everyone... I went ahead and made myself some Crawler Poison and Brewer Poison Caltrops. My intention now will be to spread them around liberally before I begin a fight. Because I should really be taking advantage of the fact that I'm using Metal Boots. I know it doesn't make much sense for Gabriel Angelos, Space Marine, Blood Raven chapter uh, commander, to use them, because he didn't use them in the games. But I think he would. I think he's of tactical mind, and he would use them if he had them. It's not something I'll, I plan on using during combat, but I think having used spin them around it before combat will prove useful. Let's see. Morphine, incinerate grenade, gas grenade, extract you. Chemical pistol, log trap, chemical ammo, adrenaline shot. So nothing on fixer that I need. But he is selling magnesium powder. Might as well purchase that. And while I'm here, I should buy more ampules. I probably should buy capsules as well. Oh, interesting. He sells metazolum. I think that really says something he sold. But he's not selling what I'm looking for. So one one second. Sorry about this, everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm totally going to do this on screen. So I am... I just uploaded part 29 to BitChute. I'll have to upload that to YouTube next. Let me go and check my YouTube comments. And Commander Lennon, where did you say I can get ages from? I don't remember. Oh, I guess I could. Yeah, that, I saw. Fixer sells Aegis blueprints. He does. He, so it must be a random thing he sells because let me, let me double check again. 
did not see him have any on him today. Yeah, but so the Aegis must be a random stock. I could have sworn I got it on a different merchant last time too, so there have been occasions when a merchant did or did not have a blueprint that a different character of mine got from them. Uh, an example would, would be the spear plan. One of my characters found that plan in here, uh, in Junkyard from this guy, Kendrick. Okay, and he's selling it. But another character who got here, he wasn't selling spear. In fact, I had to make do with the spear, uh, a spear I purchased rather than crafted. So I don't think they're guaranteed blueprints any longer, or at least some of them are not. We can check, I think, two more places. Let's go to Camp Arthur. And we'll check with Ed. Fred, sorry. And he's only selling a health hypo uh, plan today. I know the doctor at Southgate Station doesn't carry it. We should still go to Southgate Station anyway. It's the fastest way to get to the caves I have not explored yet. I've been keeping my eye open for a better electronic discharger, electromagnetic discharger, but nothing has shown up. I also have been keeping my eye open for a good plasma core. Nothing. We probably have to advance the story, probably through the arena for a bit. Oh, okay, fine. Bring it. We could use we could use the adrenaline. We could use your intestines, rat hounds. So I actually haven't played this game in like I think at least a week. Oh, I'm sorry, nope, I, I lied. I lied really badly right there. I was playing it today. But I haven't used Gabriel in a week. Oh god, that's so good. I love, I love the sound of that hammer hitting things. And, uh, I'm so, I'm getting so tired of converting rat hound leather armor into scraps. But on that same note, we can do it. And we want to take, we want to be able to utilize the we want to put to good use the abilities we've chosen for our character. What level are we, by the way? 19, I think, right? Oh, 20! We're level 20! What was the last feat I took? Was it Weaponsmith? <laughs> I forgot what the last feat was I took. Wow, I don't remember. I'll have to watch my own video. It couldn't have been Weaponsmith, because I leveled twice, and it wasn't armor sloping either. It wasn't quick pockets, I took that a long time ago. It wasn't expertise. Obviously it wasn't yell. Oh nimble! I grabbed nimble, didn't I? I did. Wow, I'm so used to taking Nimble on all of my characters, I just... I just ignored the fact I even had it. Almost every character I create gets Nimble, it's just so useful. Getting that armor penalty down on any character, even if they don't have stealth, or I'm sorry, even if they, yeah, even if they don't, have, they don't have stealth, they don't have dodge or evasion, it's still 15% re reduction to your armor penalty. That's so nice. It's difficult to find this use not to take it. And it's better than one of these special feats you can get at level 26 plus if you're the DLC. There's one called, I think, uh, let's call it like weight trading or body build, bodybuilding or something like that, which decreases the arm penalty by 10%. But Nibble's 15. So I don't. And it does more for you, too, increasing your dodge and evasion. So it's, uh, it's very nice. I do plan to take bodybuilding or whatever that other feat is, though. Okay, so I want to go down into, not those caves, those aren't caves at all, this area. So the quickest way to get there will be to head south. 
And the good news is that we'll have an excuse to, if we've passed by any, we'll have an excuse to kill any boars, rat hounds, or the like in our way for their delicious bits. So what else has been happening? So as mentioned, I've been sick. Work, I've been trying to work up hours when I am sick in order to... In order to um, recover some time. Work allows me to work whatever I want during the week. As long as I don't work an insane shift, like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Even then, they would let me do it. I just have to let them know in advance that that's a thing I plan on doing. But I can work like 16 hours one day if I wish to take off the next day. It's been something that my bosses and my customer have always allowed me to do, or anyone actually who works for the organization I work. I should be a little more careful with my words. The group I work with has been allowed to do this. The organization as a whole does not allow it, but my group is allowed to do it. So we do. But the offset of that is that when we need to work a certain shift to support a customer, we it's expected that we will be there. So for example, one uh, it, it comes up that there is a test or a series of tests that will be happening and it's happening from like 5 to 11 for three weeks straight it's expected that and if I'm on call for it it's expected that I will be there for that working every day at those times and of course if you can't make it because you're sick or something like that that's that's fine Laugh at your puny attempts to damage me, Rathound Alpha. You apparently laugh at my attempts to hit you, though. Oh, I meant, uh, well, I meant to make a Tychrome sword as well. You know, I'm, I'm done making leather armor. We're just gonna drop this in a barrel that's over here. Actually, the, the dead guy can have it. Here you go. Oh, hello. Wait, you have a key. A key? Oh, did I never turn that quest in? To the guy who really wants the plasma pistol? Whatever is in that one chest? I guess I didn't. There's no south exit, right? Nope. That guy killed Garrett twice, I remember that. I was pretty, pretty embarrassing for me. <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna win and he got to go first and like the first time around he just decimated me. Get out of here, cave hoppers. No one likes you. All right, we've, oh, there's a burrow trap over there, but I'm sorry, a crawler poisoned bear trap but I don't have the trap skill to find it and or definitely not to disarm it safely. Let's go this way. I've been doing the fishing. I did a bunch of fishing off screen and I still didn't get a shrimp. I failed a whole host of fishing attempts as well. That's uh, very frustrating. I think we'll come across some, a rock pile up there to the north. So that's been thoroughly explored. This is about to be explored, the connection. Let's walk down there and get it on the map. Hello, Keef Hoppers, run! Run for your feeble lives! The Emperor protects you today. All right, let's go check on this guy. A lone man notices you approaches camp and swiftly responds by aiming his gun at your head. It takes him but a few moments to address you and does so with a voice that seems rather calm and relaxed considering the tense situation at hand. Don't move, buddy. Don't even think about moving, or else you'll find yourself obliterated on the spot. 
Now who are you, and what are you doing in these caves? It's you who will be obliterated if you don't put that gun away right now, you dirty rat! Name's Gabriel. Who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? You notice his voice tenses up for a split second, but then quickly reverts to its original quality. Look. He smiles. There's no need for us to spill each other's guts here, right? We are, after all, both civilized gentlemen. Now tell me. What do you want? I'll be going now. I should kill him. Actually, I guess... I guess we'll just let him have his, have his locker. Yeah, he can keep it. We'll keep the key. He'll never get it. The way that conversation went, it seems like that's a fitting end to it. He's unfriendly. I'm unfriendly. There's no reason for chit-chat. Let's go ahead and break down some rocks. Yes, I know I don't have to break down both of them, but I'm gonna... Okay. To crawler territory. I think. Yep, crawler territory. Ooh, I'm down to only two flares. Missed, darn it, darn it! I just missed where it was located. Well, that's fine, it decided to stay, though. Well, I missed the pummel, but got the two normal hits. Let's wait for the days to pass. Those summer days. See, there's a Death Stalker, I think, right here. There it is. This is going to be a pain in the butt to catch him, too. Just a normal crawler. A dead normal crawler. Delicious insectoid saliva. I think there's two death stalkers actually in this area. You know, I thought we'd be able to. I thought we, we would actually be resisting the poison effects more often with our 11 current constitution. We could take iron gut pills. You're right behind me. Darn, I freaking hate you. This is bad because, okay, there's one. Can I stun it? We can, we're gonna take it. We'll take some damage. I really need to pummel it this round. This is fine. This is fine. Our armor has activated. We're below 70% life. Just a normal crawler. It still is aware of us, moving towards us. <laughs> Done, you jerks. So one death stalker. Wasn't so bad though. We got a few more crawler tails, which is nice, because I was using those to make our craw crawler caltrops. And if I recall correctly, hold on. If 
first off, we went east and north. Or we're about to. Let's click save. There's more crawlers here. Nope, just rat hounds. I just want to get the connecting area on screen. Uh, on the map. Both, technically. Alright. So I hope you guys don't mind the fact that I'm running around just exploring and clearing cave systems. I... Actually, let's, let's have the Cooper egg. We're fighting more crawlers all in this area, if I remember correctly. So, I view all my characters, on normal at least, I try to have them explore and defeat every single room's enemies. Every one of them. There might be a trap here, but I think there definitely is. Let's have them come to me. Can I get a net on my bar? Oh! Ooh, we blocked your critical strike, you jerk. We evaded that. He's gonna break out, and I need him to die. at me. I'll make you some of your action points. Ooh, those blocks! Those blocks! Five blocks in a row. I thought we killed all the lurkers. In fact, I just named and uploaded part 29, which is called Exterminatus, figuring it would make sense that we just exterminated all the lurkers, but we apparently missed a few. Okay, this is a perfect opportunity for us to go fishing. I said I, I know I said I wasn't gonna, but we're we're here. I don't ever tend to come back here, so we might as well do a little bit more of this. Eels are always good to get. I like those because those those make um, what do they make? The electrolyte gel, which we need. Oh, my armor. Yellow puckerfish. Let's try one more area down here, and then that'll do it for us for the fishing. It's going to be a good time as any to also repair my equipment. I should be charged that as well. I'll keep an eye on that fishing rod. And I have so much money, it's not really a concern. So I can be a little f more free with my normal batteries. Come on, fishing rod. Now, give us the shrimp! Not today. Wonder why it takes dexterity and not strength to reel the fish in. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so caltrops. I mean, I made them for the, for the most part because we might as well take advantage of the fact we're taking biology. And since I'm killing everything we come across anyway, this is going to give us an extra, uh, not an extra, but give us more than enough crawler tails, venom glands, whatever it is. There's some dogs back in that corner, if I recall correctly. I 
don't need any more cave ears. I have something like 50 or so mushrooms with them. Oh, there's a large amount. Oh, actually, they might, might be dead. Are they still dead? They're still dead. I cleared these out getting to the Lost Vault trader to see what he was selling. Selling some decent tabby boots, but I don't really care about those. Oh, right. We, we killed... We killed those lurkers. I have their loot. I should see what I want to keep and what I don't. So we don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need this. I don't care. Only one. We'll take it. Who cares? I have plenty of crossbows. I don't need that one either. So, we've explored all of this now. I can see where this connects. I'll be okay with that lacking a connection. Oh, we're right near this. this. Actually, this looks like this is the final area that we have yet to explore in this cave system. And then that's it. So let's explore the structure. I passed by it when I was running around off screen and I hammered down the rocks but didn't walk into it. Do I have a gas mask? I didn't, I'm not carrying any of that with me. Okay. Alright, you get a free red root mushroom out here. Die, auto turret! We laugh at your attempts to damage us. Our three hits were more were better than your three hits, sir. hear this music without thinking that we're in an abandoned lab and there's crawlers or death stalkers here probably both hello by Retta 99 a five millimeter pistol worth nine thousand bucks though I'll take that oh sorry the value is nine thousand that is a worthless pistol bull quiver not useful for us Next, I want to recycle this pistol. Hello. Low level parts, not for me. If they were a higher quality, I would take them. Tychrome bars. I'll have to remember that spawns down here. Huh. Like, it's not guaranteed. None of this stuff is. This is random loot from uh, probably the crafting loot table. Though most of the files are corrupted or encrypted, you do manage to get a couple of readable emails. To Daniel Daryl Patterson, subject inappropriate content. Even though I have already told you that we do not have the appropriate facility to store this kind of material, you proceeded with the shipping anyway. Though I understand that we must be flexible these days, and it's to be expected that some safety protocols must be overlooked if we are to contain the chaos caused by the events down below. We simply cannot store this kind of biohazardous substance. I expect you to arrange it to be shipped to a more appropriate storage as soon as possible. Wow! Hey! So, I think what's in this lab are mutants, right? And we know that there were mutations that were happening down in the, um... Oh, I forget what the name of the, of the city is down below this place, in the Deep Caverns. But that must be what they're referring to. They ship material up here to try to save some of their work. What the hell? What the hell are you thinking? Patterson, this is a military industry storage. We can store anything from low-caliber bullets to high-grade explosives, but we absolutely cannot keep these things, whatever you call them. If these things are not out of here by tomorrow, I'm going to write to the high representative. To Lynn Romero, subject cryo storage. I don't know, Lynn. 
I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. I cranked up, or should I say down, the temperature in the cryo, so hopefully they won't start melting down again. But I fear the thermal controls is stuck on super low temperature now. To Anthony Costello, subject Sullivan's, Sullivan's, Sullivan's dead. It's down to only Wilbert and me. Sylvan got shot by some crosswired bots. One of the renegades sabotaged them before leaving, I guess. I sealed the bots off in 1A. Couldn't even get Sullivan's body out. This is freaking chaos. I'm hearing all kinds of bad things are happening to the core. Uh, in the core. Anyway, Patterson said he sent someone to help us clean up here. Maybe there's still hope of keeping this place together. Something Earth. Hollow Earth. That's the name of the laboratory slash city that's down below. Storage one key card. A crawler poison bear trap. Not useful to us. Oh, speaking of traps that aren't useful to us, we don't need that. Kamikaze bots. I still have the net. I still have the net. Equipped. That can stun us, but can't do anything else to us. Let's activate Sprint. We're in a good spot to deal with these kamikazes. They'll run up and damage me. That should also take care of the sentry bot. Let's shock the plasma. To short circuit it. And just like that, it's almost dead. And this is over. I love how invulnerable I feel with Gear Wheel now. And I know I mentioned before, but the the difference between a stealth character and non-stealth character is pretty, pretty amazing. And I'm really impressed that this game has done such a good job at making it doable, at least on normal, for both of those types of characters to be efficient at what they do. Another skeleton with another key card, maybe? Yep. Storage 1B. Feels like I'm playing Doom. Getting a blue key card, a red key card. Crawler territory. Wow, and I didn't get any of them. Well, then they'll stay in there. If that works for me. Let's go ahead and shut this. Oh, nope. Press hacking now to shut it. This seems to be the controls for the cryo storage. The temperature controls are unresponsive, and it seems all you can do is turn it on and off. It is currently on. I think we can leave it on and still walk in here. It'll be cold, but the mutants can't hurt us. Alternatively, we could just kill the mutants if we want. Yeah, screw it. Let's kill them. Turn it off. Purge the Xenos. We're going to kill every mutant that we come across. And I mean everyone. Yes! Even those ones. 
Even those ones. I'm gonna kill all of them. At least that's the plan. Unless we're forced to talk to them, in which case, okay, fine. That guy will, that one will stay. Sorry, it wasn't really, oh, you can open doors? They can open doors, everyone. Armor protects you from acid damage. Hello, Hunchback. How are you doing? That must suck. You were in there for who knows how long, only to die to me instantly upon being slightly thawed out. How's our hit points? Generating. That's good. We will fix this. Acid, I do not think, counts as biological in nature. Oh, why did I mention that? <laughs> why did I mention that? I'm not taking iron. Oh, because of the food? That's poison only. That's not bio damage, Tim. That was quite a few drugs we got in there. Except those saliva, untouched cyanic catalyst, bonding agent, some acid, of course, and some blood. Heart, more creature bits, a heart, and more creature bits. Hello, Cryo Chambers, where are you? Mutagen D5. This is a sealed can of a highly potent and dangerous D5 mutating agent. Why not? And we got another one. Why not? Surely nothing bad will happen to us by carrying these around. I think I left them there with Garrett. I don't think you need these for anything. It sounds like they would be useful for the Institute of Chort, but I don't recall an Institute ever sending you here for this. So it must be related to an Abram, an Abram quest or the Protectorate. Well, that clears that out. Awesome. We're kind of near Core City. So I guess we'll head to Core City. Alternatively, we can go back to Rail Crossing and then take a train to Core City where I can drop a lot of this crap off. Yeah, let's do. Oh, boars! Have not attacked. That's it. You could have just live the rest of your lives out here in peace. Oh. Holy crap! 363 critical hit. That was very nice. We'll have Azdari and a large one here. I'm gonna do this. Let's get ready for it. So let's move up a little bit more. Wait till it sprints off cooldown. Take a morphine. Charge in. Oh crap! Uh, sprint is still on cooldown for two turns. That was dumb. I should have charged him if I want to use my morphine. So here's the Goliath, Goliath sis. We're gonna take away all its stupid uh, mirror images. Oh, 
Oh ho! Got a stun off on you. Our morphine ended. Just you, little bug. Fighting these always, well not always, but fighting these some on occasion makes me, makes me, makes me long for the days where I was playing Planescape Torment with the Cranium Rats. That was a quality 72 Sight Beater Carapace. I don't think I've ever seen one that high level before. We'll take that back with us. It's not particularly useful, because we're not going to make a psionic suit of armor. Unless you want to sell it, but I have so much stuff to still sell back in Core City. We're in no danger of running out of the capability to make armor. You know, I should go and look at something else really quick. As long as I've got like another 20 minutes before we're going to call this session. I'll go back to my YouTube channel really quick, everyone. And look for a comment I got. Sorry, not talking. That's the best. That's the best. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, I know I've rant ranted about this before, but uh, I got a comment on my Underwheel Part 2, Hounding Rat Hounds, ages ago, with Garrett. And it was by a gentleman. Uh, I guess I won't give his name, because... Uh, well, I get, actually, I'm, I, don't, I don't care. Let's uh, a gentleman named Vitaly Gladkov. I like that name, actually. It sounds like a Russian name to me. And uh, he asked, Why don't I choose the Audi system? It's much easier to farm XP on normal XP mode. And so, here's my... And so I made a huge response uh, to this. Because it gave me an excuse to write up my feelings on the Adi system. And I know we've talked about it before, but I'm going to talk about it again because I really want to drill home that the... that I dislike the Adi system intensely. Uh, no. No, that's not necessarily true. I, I have characters who... Mm. No, I guess that is true. I do dislike it. I have characters who I'm leveling with it, but I still... I don't like it when I'm playing them with them using it. So, first, uh, he didn't say a false statement. It is true. It is easier to farm experience on normal AFP mode, because you can farm experience on classic, is the actual term, experience mode. However, you don't have to. In fact, you'll note, well, maybe you won't note, with, with Gabriel, I do kill the creatures I come across again for their creature bits. And I get a tiny bit of experience points for killing them. Like, how much did we get for killing the, the side beetles? 206 for the Goliath. That's actually a decent amount. And 26 for the normal side beetles. The rat hounds are worth like 11 now. So as you... Hmm, so there's no need to, fa to farm experience when you are playing classic, though. Because just naturally, if you explore every single room, quote, in the game you will be max level by the time you reach the Institute of Tort or close to it. We're level 20 and a half, and if I was playing the base game, I'd now... Base game. If I was intending just to go and do the... In, like, beat the game, didn't own the DLC, I would then... I would now proceed to clear Core City. I might do Upper Underrail first, but I think Core City is what I usually prefer doing. And then I go and clear Upper Underrail, and by the time I'm all done with this, I'm close to level 24, if not max level. And I've done it without having to do any farming. It's just, it comes naturally to the game. And that's wonderful, because I, at no point do I feel underleveled. And at no point do I, well, actually, no, that's not true. There are several points in the game where I do feel underleveled. But that's why you see me doing the quests I do in the order I do them. And I go and explore the places I explore in the order I do that in because I'm aware of how strong some of the encounters are, and I know my character will struggle to, to complete some of them, that I need a, a level or two under my belt first. 
but I don't go and kill normal rat hounds or side beetles to do it. Like, I don't farm them, wait an hour and a half till they respawn, and then kill them again. I don't do that. I don't have to do that in Classic, because there's plenty of things out there. There's a lot more ways to get experience points, and so you require less farming, in my opinion. This is because in Oddy Mode, you will have to farm a whole lot in Oddy Mode. And what, uh, yep, here it is. Because in Oddy Mode... Ha! In Oddity, you can kill a creature, and it might not drop its Oddity item. An example is the side Beetles that we just killed. I have a character who has killed every side Beetle in the game that is available to you pre-instituted short. And I've killed them all twice, and he's only gotten one side Beetle brain... Uh, sorry, uh, two side Beetle brains. He still hasn't found one of them. And one only side Beetle tusk from the big ones. That's ridiculous. I actually have to stop what my normal flow of the game and go and kill them if I want that experience point. And in Oddy Mode, you really need every experience point because there's so few of them that you can actually get it. Well, nah, that was about to say the wrong thing. You want them all because at some... if you, um, It's difficult to level up to an equivalent level in Oddy Mode compared to Classic. You will always be, or almost always be, you will always be once you pass the depots, a lower level than you would have been in Classic for doing what amounts to the same amount of work. I had to spend two hours killing those bladelings with my psionic character, and that was really grueling because he didn't have a good way to damage them easily. P pure psionicist. And again, it took me two hours to get them to drop the last two oddity, uh, two point oddity items. That was just terrible. I can't believe I had to do that. And by two hours, I, met, I, had to, I killed them all once, came back when they respawned, killed them all again, and then I had what amounted to maybe like a sixth of a level. If I had done that in classic mode, which you, which you don't have to do in classic mode, but if I did that in classic, I would have gained uh, more experience than just that fragment of a level. So I, I dislike Oni Mode because of that. Because it, lots of people say, this is what, it gets, I guess it really gets my goat. When people say that you can farm in Classic. And you can. You can farm in Classic. But you don't have to. And I have never done it. I've never purposely gone out and killed creatures for their experience points. I have gone out and I've killed creatures for their bits. And it so happens that on Classic, I'm rewarded for that with, by also getting experience points. Just a tad bit of them. Just a tad. And not enough to make it overbear. Uh, to make you really unbalanced. I definitely have not done any... any I might have gained half a level, maybe... Probably not even that, probably not that much either. Probably maybe a close to a third of a level. By going around and killing creatures again just for their experience points. But I can't think of any character that I've actually done that with. I have done that though on Oddity. I have had almost all my characters stop. Uh, characters who are playing Oddity stop in order to kill creatures again. Farming them until I can get them to drop their Oddity item. An example would be that again... As another example, the Cave Hopper 2 point oddity. I've been down there in the mushroom, mushroom Cove for 40 minutes killing those stupid things to get that dragon oddity item to drop from them. God, I, I hate it. So because I know it is, oddity is actually more grindy than classic, I actively avoid now oddity mode. Unless I'm really in the mood to have the unique experience point game. Next, Adi requires very specific characters to get the most out of Adi mode. Gabriel doesn't have hacking or lockpicking or pickpocket or high perception. These are all th things you want if you're playing an Adi character. In fact, I'd argue that you need pickpocket if you want to get the most out of it because most of the things you can find will be available to you even if you don't have lockpicking 
and hacking. I can think of at least one thing, the cybernetic modules, which you can't get access to without hacking. But there's at least like 11 or 15 points, oddity points, worth of experience waiting for you if you have pickpocket. And so pickpocket, in my opinion, is much more important than hacking is. Hacking, hacking pickpocket, ha ha hacking and lockpick get you access to some oddity items, uh, finishing them a little faster. But I don't think they're required. High perception, you want high perception because you want to find secrets, because often secrets will have an oddity item in them. Uh, an example is right in outside South Gate Station. You go to the north, you take the stairs down. Oh, wait, what was I going to point? Speaking of stairs down, am I done? With those caves? I think I am. Wow, I'm all done. Okay. Um. Well, I guess let's go to. Uh, Look at the upper under rail. I've got like another six minutes. Uh, I'll... Let's go back to Foundry. And we'll see the shopkeepers there refresh our inventory. I don't think they have yet, though. Right. So, uh, if you leave Southgate Station and you go north once to where that one group of three thugs is going to ambush you. The first time you fight rat hounds... Oh, arguably the first time you'll fight rat hounds outside of the cave system. But you go north and there's some staircases, right? You go down there and you find a few low-level lurkers hiding out down there. Well, there's a secret down there that can give you access to a... What is it called? It's, uh, it's the disc. The floppy disc. Where is that? There's five of them, if I recall correctly. I'm oh, sorry, you, you studied that thing up to five times. Hey, here it is, right here. So you can get one of these in there, a single oddity point item. But that's really important for you to get early on in the game. You don't have high perception, you're not finding that, because you can't see the secret. So I feel that classic mode actually allows you to play a greater vari variety of characters than Oddity does, which seems backwards. Because people people say constantly that they don't want to farm and have to kill creatures. So, and there's, there's more freedom in the type of character you can use if you play Oddity. But this is not true at all. You need to kill, you need to kill creatures. You, in fact, your character, this is another point I made, your character must be combat capable. And on hard difficulty levels, I'd argue he must excel at combat. You must min-max. If you're playing this game on dominating, for example, I can't, I can't see a character like Gabriel working on dominating difficulty. It wouldn't work. I've chosen way too many feats which are just thematic. Things like yell, yell is useless in Adi mode, or very close to being useless. Um, what's another ability I took, which is probably not very good for Adi? Guard. Uh, sorry, God, uh, d dominating. Guard would be useless for this character. He wouldn't need it on... It, it's it's a decent feat, but not one Gabriel should take on dominating. Because you have to min-max at that level. And so because your character must be able to excel at combat, at least I, I, I'm pretty sure this is true. Maybe it's not. Maybe you can beat the game, like, when you're like seven, 13 levels below max. Well, that's, that's a bit harsh. Maybe you can beat the Deep Caverns and Chort on normal when you're only level like 19. But I don't think you can. I think you need to make sure that you're max level when you walk into that fight. Based on how Garrett did at max level. But then again, Garrett was also a hybrid. Which I don't think you could very easily do on hard difficulty levels. And it'd be tougher for him to do that on Oddity as well. So, so yeah, so... You have to... It, I feel that Oddity allows you to play a more specialized and thematic characters that you cannot play on... Oddy mode. In addition, since your character's gonna have to do combat anyway, and in fact with me, I love the combat in this game. It is phenomenal. Even when I curse and swear that I just missed like five, 95% missed chances in a row. Oh, I hate it. I still love this game. I like it despite the fact that RNG hates everybody. I love it. And I love the combat and I wanna I wanna engage in it in every chance I get. And I want to 
kill every single enemy in every single room I walk in because I view that as a fun challenge. So if I play on Oddity, the one of the reasons why you would want to do that is just so you don't have to kill creatures. Although that makes you weaker even in Oddity mode. So so ridiculous. That's right. This this is apparently the rant about Oddity mode. <laughs> I thought I thought this video that. <laughs> but you want to kill creatures anyway. You want to kill rat hounds until you get their uh, ears, right? Their rat hound ears, because that's an oddity point. You want to keep killing side beetles until you get their oddity items. You want to keep killing boars. You want to keep killing crawlers. Some of these things have a high chance to drop their oddity item. Others do not. And so that sucks. That sucks. And because, again, you're fighting anyway, you have to make a combat character, you're just you're just making it tougher for yourself. And I'll end it I'll end this session with the same thing well not maybe not end it end the session, but I'll be very close to end the session with saying the same thing that I, I mentioned in the in the really long comment. And that is that Although I I dislike Oddy mode and I find it frustrating to play characters who use it, it is a very unique and interesting way to gain experience in this game. It also makes it tougher, and if you're looking for a tougher challenge, Adi Mode is great for that reason. Because you will be, in my opinion, underleveled for most of the game. Or rather, I suppose underleveled is the wrong term. You will be the equal to the level that the content that you're walking into for most, for some of it, but you will be underleveled for more of it for a longer period of time. This group of iron heads we killed that were in here, that group of like nine of them. At this point in the game in Adi mode, I might be level 16. Or 17. Might be level 17. Because I remember most of my most of my Adi characters, by the time they reach it reached into the chort, they're level 20. And that's with everything being cleared, without the DLC being gone into and the institute itself not having been walked into yet. Level 20. I suppose if I was to do the Abram quests completely and finish Oculus off, that my character might be level 21. Maybe. And by the time I'm in Deep Caverns, my character is level 22 or 23. That used to be the case with uh, when I was playing the game through Classic. Nowadays, you'll probably be level 26, I would imagine. By the time you enter Deep Caverns, thanks to the DLC, uh, Expedition. Because you probably start Expedition around level 20. And then that gets you maybe six levels, because I know you can buy certain Oddity items over there. Anyway, so with Oddity, I just find it more grindy, more frustrating, annoying, keeps you lower level, contradicts the type of character you have to build in Underrail anyway. But it, I do think it is a very unique way to gain experience in the game. And if you're looking for a tougher game, I think just play the game on Oddity. Play on, play, on, play on normal mode, play on Oddity. You jump the difficulty up one point when you do that. You, you, make, you make the game hard at that point. Especially if you're playing through it blind. Holy crap. Because I know where, where a lot of Oddity points are. I know I can go to this particular barrel and I can get a two-point bottle of beer from there, for example. And I can know I can go to Foundry, where I am right now. And I can walk out of Foundry with like six easy points of Adi gain for just checking containers in this town. So, I don't know. There you have it. I rambled on for like 30 minutes about that. And now I'm done. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Um, yep, I'm going to cut it here. And I will see you all in the next one, where we will be doing the dude's quest. I will see you then, everyone. Take care.